This building holds in trust the records of a nation. It is the United States National Archives in Washington, D.C. Someone says, Luther Martin, who was he? And they have no idea. Hmm. How do you answer that? Well, you could answer it first by saying, you do mean Martin Luther, the uh, uh, founder of Lutheranism. Um, but the serious answer, of course, is, is Luther Martin is a revolutionary patriot. He is a lawyer in Maryland. He is the attorney general of Maryland for almost all of his um, adult life. He's a delegate to the Constitutional Convention. He walks out of the convention because he doesn't like the way things are going. He was part of a small minority of contenders in 1787-88 who really did not like the Constitution at all. Martin, I think, does not deserve his obscurity. I think he was the most fascinating figures in early American politics. He spoke at great length, often with uh, considerable uh, vehemence and passion against the Constitution. Nobody in 1776 even imagined a, a government as strong as the federal government that emerges 10 years later. It's not in their wildest dreams. And the nation they envisioned required money, required labor, and required what that labor uh, created. And they decided that they would put their greed before all else. This is a commerce equation that works. We know if we work people for free, on land we obtain for free, we make a profit free and clear. If you really value your freedoms, such as freedom of religion and gun rights and uh, freedom of speech and, and uh, no cruel and unusual punishment, the people to thank for that are not the men who wrote the Constitution. The people to thank for that are the men who hated the Constitution. Slavery, it was codified, and so were standing armies. Bill of Rights would have to wait in the land of milk and honey. Luther Martin wrote to die.